Hey guys, it's Shane. Man, it's been a minute. Uh, I think the last time we talked was a month ago. I've been complete radio silence for the last month. And that's because we've been busy as hell. November was a crazy month for us. Thanks to all you guys for showing up for Blackland Friday in a big, big way. This was by far our busiest month we've ever had as a business. And uh, to put it in perspective, like that month, I think it was more than the first year of business, definitely. Probably more than we did in year two and maybe even year three, I don't really remember. But uh, it was a lot. And, you know, we had some learning that we have to do. We have some systems that we need to shore up. A little bit slower shipping times than normal, but honestly, we got through it. So thanks to all you guys. I hope you had a great Thanksgiving weekend and a happy holiday season so far. And I hope you had a great November because I haven't talked to you in a month. So let's go over last month a little bit. I know this is mostly a December update, but last month we had the Dart come out. We had the Era get liquidated. Those darts sold out pretty quick and uh, still have a few Era things left, but I think that's going to be the case for a while. We just have some of the less popular base plates still to move through. And then we had you know our huge Blackland Friday discounts that we had. Titanium was at a steep discount and stainless steel is at a discount. And uh, man, you guys showed up in droves for that. So thanks again to you guys. That was a hell of a month and it was a ton of fun. A um, lot of late nights and long days, but you know, we got through it as a team and we're gonna come out of it better in the future. So we'll be better able to handle that kind of volume and hopefully it becomes a you know a monthly occurrence as we ramp up into it. So that's what happened last month. Awesome. But now we're on to December. November's dead. And this month, as you already know if you're watching this, so in real time, I am recording this before the light comes out, but you guys will have already noticed that we dropped the Blackbird light. And that's a project that I am super excited about and really curious, honestly, to see how it goes. And we've never done a launch like this where we just kind of throw it on you and say, hey, they're available now, brand new product. So we're gonna see how that goes. This is also the first time we launched a product that is on sale as soon as it drops. We're extending our Black Friday discount to the Blackbird Lite, mainly because we had hoped to have it in stock in November, but we want to give you guys opportunity for that. This is a base plate that I'm really excited about. So you're already going to know this by now, but the Blackbird Lite is basically a base plate change. And we're calling it the Lite because it does everything the Blackbird does, but just a little less. It's a little less blade feel. It's a bit less efficiency, a bit less of a blade forward experience, but we still wanted it to feel like a Blackbird. That unique shave is so important to the Blackbird experience. The fact that shaves like nothing else is why we've never changed the shaving geometry of the Blackbird. From day one, we've had, you know, open comb came out and we've had different finishes. We have titanium, we've had brass before, but we've never actually changed the shaving geometry that is the angle the blade gap blade exposure things that actually impact where the blade sits and how it interacts with your skin and your beard we've never done that before in part because i've tried it but i didn't want to make it no longer shave like a blackbird you know the blackbird is a very specific experience and it's a unique experience that we want to capture and maintain it's a big part of our brand and a big part of the brand of that razor is that nothing else is like it so obviously we were really worried about changing it and losing that spirit of the product so to make the light was a lot of walking that fine line it was trying to figure out how mild can we make this without losing the spirit of the blackbird how much can we reduce the blade gap or reduce the blade exposure and and by how much should we reduce each so there's a ton of trial and error because oftentimes we would make something that was too mild and not only is it too mild but it just doesn't shave like a blackbird you know blackbird should have blade feel a blackbird should have a small blade gap a blackbird should have that shallow shaving angle and a blackbird should have you know a reasonable amount of blade exposure regardless of how, you know, how far along that line it is, how aggressive it truly is. That's what a Blackbird is. And so we made a mild razor and just wouldn't be the Blackbird. It would shave just like something else, like a generic razor. It shaves fine, but it doesn't capture that Blackbird spirit. And similarly, if we didn't, you know, make it mild enough, it just kind of didn't do anything, right? We may as well just have a regular Blackbird. 
So a ton of trial and error, a bunch of different prototypes, and we wound up with what I think is just, I won't say perfect, because you know nothing's ever perfect, but it is the sweet spot. This thing is milder, it's comfortable. There's still some blade feel though. There's still good efficiency. It still feels like a Blackbird, just like the diet version of a Blackbird, the light. Um, it's not a, you know, version two. Um, it is just a new version of the Blackbird, a new addition to the Blackbird lineup. And so just to go over some of the like naming conventions, because I know you guys are going to have questions about that. The reason why we didn't go level one, level two, like we have with our Saber and with the Era, is that I wanted people to know which is the Blackbird original and which is the new Blackbird Lite. So particularly for reviews, you know, the Blackbird's been around for six or seven years. And so it has a pretty good history and a pretty good, you know, internet history. So when people search for the Blackbird and people read reviews about the Blackbird, I want them to understand what they're experiencing. And calling, renaming the Blackbird original level two is kind of confusing. People wouldn't know when they, you know, search it, hey, are these reviews for the level one, for the level two? It just says Blackbird. And that's because the Blackbird didn't have level one or level two. So that was part of it. They wanted to really uh, maintain that ethos around the Blackbird and maintain that consistency over time because the Blackbird is still the Blackbird. The Blackbird Lite indicates that it is the toned down, lighter version of the Blackbird. And we also wanted to play obviously off of like Diet Coke and the diet experience, which is like same great taste, you know, no calories. It's like that, right? It's the same great shave, half the blade feel. And so I thought it's kind of a fun way to capture it. I don't know if you guys will like it, but frankly, I think it's awesome. And I am so excited for the light. So that's obviously the big news this month. And by now you already know that. Um, also this month, we're finally hoping to, expecting to have those new finishes we keep talking about. That's been a little bit of a drama on our end, but uh, we have some of them now and they look amazing. So that's super cool. We're also working on a couple neat accessories that I'm not gonna really tease out, but we have a lot of cool stuff in the wings. And we will have uh, those accessories early next year, like probably January, February, hear more about that. Those are some good bathroom essentials. We're trying to expand the line. And uh, we'll also have some, our first non-shaving item will be around. Um, definitely shaving adjacent. That would be a fun accessory to have. And we're just trying to have a lot of fun with it and bring new products to the table as we kind of wrap out the year. Um, we're going into 2023 with a lot of new products on the horizon. We have a very big product update early next year. Uh, the light is our minor product update for this year. And we'll have at least two or three big razor releases releases next year. And um, yeah, we're just gonna keep chugging along. Um, I know it's kind of a rambling long video, but honestly, I'm tired. I'm pretty burnt out after uh, the last five, six weeks or whatever. Um, but, <laughs> and I know tomorrow's gonna be more of it now that we have the light um, dropping tomorrow. And uh, you know, it's a good problem to have. I'm very grateful for just how much demand we've had. I'm grateful for you, our customers and fans, and I'm grateful for the team I get to work with every day. Um, they really stepped up last month and I couldn't be prouder of our employees and my coworkers, and it's just been awesome. Um, so it's really cool seeing everyone step up and get the job done. So um, wishing you guys all a great holiday season. We'll have another couple of videos um, this month as well. Um, we have a really a ridiculous video coming up, um, a silly project that we did and that I can't wait for you guys to see. So that'll be uh, that'll be pretty fun. And I will be more active this month on social media. You'll probably see more videos from me now that we're a little bit um, out of the weeds. We have our heads above water and we can finally, to mix metaphors, and we can finally uh, go back to doing some of the normal stuff we were doing. But I um, hope that was a little bit of an update. I know it's kind of rambling, um, shooting from the hip here, but I am looking forward to December. And thanks again for being with us. Um, if I don't talk to you before then, have a great holiday season. Have a happy new year, but I'm sure I'll see you by then. Anyway, guys, thanks again. See you next time.